What are municipal services? Welcome to the Civics Academy Local Government Series. These videos explain how local government functions. In order to be responsible citizens and shape the country we want, we need to know how government functions and how we can engage it. This video explains what services municipalities must provide, where municipalities get the money from to provide these services, how they spend their funds, and why it is so important that people pay for municipal services. What are municipal services? Municipalities are part of the local sphere of government. The local sphere of government, together with the national and provincial spheres, make up the three spheres of government. The constitution sets out what specific services the different spheres of government must provide in schedules 4 and 5. Part B of those schedules set out the local government services which affect our everyday lives directly. These include electricity, water and sanitation services, refuse removal, municipal roads, parks and recreation, community halls and public places, cemeteries. Some services are shared services, meaning that different spheres of government have to collaborate in providing them. This is discussed in the videos What is Local Government? and What Can I Expect from My Municipality? Where does the money come from to pay for municipal services? To be able to provide the constitutionally mandated services, municipalities need substantial amounts of money. Municipalities vary greatly in size, social structure and service requirements. This means that their ability to generate income and the costs they encounter also differs widely. A big city like Johannesburg, for example, needs to build and maintain many freeways whilst small rural towns have to take care of fewer odd roads. Smaller municipalities, however, often have to serve a vast rural area, but people don't have the same ability to pay for services as they do in large metropolitan cities. Whatever their size or structure, all municipalities have to secure their income from the same sources, namely grants, loans, property taxes, and user charges. Grants All municipalities receive money in the form of grants from the taxes that the national government collects. One grant is the municipality's fair share or equitable share of the state's income from nationally collected taxes and the other is the Municipal Infrastructure Grant. The municipality's equitable share of the state's income is used to help pay for the cost of basic services for people whose income is below a certain threshold. The Municipal Infrastructure Grant, called MIG, is designed to help pay for the construction costs of basic infrastructure services that mainly benefit the poor. Loans. Often, the MIG funds are not sufficient to pay all the construction costs. Municipalities then have to borrow money from a bank. The municipality has to repay this loan plus the interest thereon from its income, from taxes and charges. Property tax. Municipalities, other than district municipalities, also impose taxes on properties such as houses and businesses based on their values. Property taxes allow municipalities to subsidize the costs of services. User charges. Municipalities levy and collect fees for the usage of services such as electricity, refuse collection and water and sanitation services. Households earning less than a certain amount determined by the municipality don't have to pay for a limited amount of municipal services. However, when consumption limits are exceeded, people have to pay for the extra consumption. If people are unable to pay their municipal accounts due to the loss of employment, illness or death in the family, the municipality can assist in granting more time to pay or to reduce the debt.
How does the municipality spend the money it has on services? The municipality has to take many different steps in order to provide services. Each step has costs associated with it. These costs get paid from the overall funds available to the municipality. Let us use water services as a practical example. Firstly, the municipality needs to plan the exact nature of the water supply system and how much it will cost. Secondly, the water service needs to be constructed. Depending on the circumstances, this could require anything from a dam to a borehole, a purification plant, a water reservoir, pumps, meters, and a network of underground pipes. Thirdly, running the water system requires skilled staff and electricity. The system also needs to be regularly maintained and repaired when necessary, which also requires tools and materials. Why must I pay for the services? Municipalities rely on user charges to get the money necessary to provide services to the people. As described, each service costs substantial amounts of money to set up and to maintain. Municipalities lose lots of money due to practices such as illegal electricity connections or theft of cables, and this affects their ability to pay for the services that they provide. If users who do not qualify for free services don't pay their services, municipalities don't have the resources to continue to provide the services. Summary In this video, we explained what basic services municipalities must provide and how they do so. Municipalities provide the services that people use in their day-to-day -day lives, such as water, electricity, and refuse removal. In order to provide such services, municipalities need a lot of money, which they get through grants, loans, taxes, and the fees the municipality charges for the use of services. It is critical that people who do not qualify for free services pay their municipal accounts so that our municipalities have the resources necessary to deliver and maintain the services to all the people of this country.